In this week's video, I teach you how to make your own CD mosaic stash box. So if you want to learn how, stay tuned. Your supply list includes a box, some paint, CDs, glue, and a paintbrush. So the first step is to paint your box any color you want. I chose black, but you know, totally up to you. So when I first started this craft, I thought you just took your scissors and cut your CDs. Boy was I wrong. This does not work at all. So you're going to need to heat up your CDs so they're a little bit more flexible and easier to cut. I tried using a blow dryer, but that didn't really work. So I went to Pinterest and saw someone who suggested that I put the CDs in hot water in order to make them softer. I also found that these CDs work way better than these CDs, so just avoid those ones. Let's throw it in the water, leave it for a few minutes, and see how it cuts. Thank God this worked, because I was really starting to get frustrated. So the best way I found to work with your CDs is to cut like a pizza shape, throw your CD back in the water so it doesn't cool down too much, and then continue working on your slice of CD, cutting it into smaller and smaller chunks. So here is my leftover CD, back in the water with you. So using your CD and your scissors, you're going to cut out some triangles, some squares, whatever shapes you want to create your mosaic. I decided to do a mixture of big pieces and small pieces, but it's totally up to you. Ah shit. Some of these pieces I tried to cut just didn't work out, but I didn't let myself get worked up over it. I just threw them down and kept moving. It's kind of how crafting goes. It can be really frustrating at times but also really fun. So you gotta take the good with the bad. So I'm just gonna tell you a little bit more about how I boiled my CDs. Once water in my stainless steel pot was totally boiling, I took it off the element and then put my CDs inside, usually just two or three. And then I left them for a few minutes. The longer you leave them, as long as the water doesn't cool down too much, they're gonna get softer and easier to cut. If your CD is out of the water for too long, it's going to start to cool off. And that's when you're going to run into more problems. So in this next cut, you're going to see that it's gotten too cold and it cracks. So don't bother trying to cut it. You're just going to keep cracking it, throw it back in the water and let it heat up again so it's a little bit more flexible. After boiling and cutting a few more CDs, I think I finally have enough to do the top of my box. First, I'm going to place my CD pieces on my box, and then I'm going to glue them down. I started by placing down my biggest pieces of CDs, then the medium-sized ones, and then some smaller ones to fill in all the gaps. So let's continue placing all those pieces. After hours and hours and hours of cutting CDs and gluing CDs, I had finally covered my box in my mosaic tiles, and I'm pretty excited with how it turned out. I haven't done anything with the inside of the box yet, but I would suggest either painting it or getting felt sheets and cutting it to size and gluing it in there. So what does this chronic crafter keep in her stash box? Let's have a look. All my tools I use for my medication. Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope it inspired you to go out and make your own CD mosaic stash box as well.